why, 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 what's the main reason you involved in what we're doing uh, together at this point in our careers with the Diamond Allegiance? Well, I, I think you know how this started with me as far as the Diamond Allegiance. You brought me into it when it was uh, basically just the foundation. And, you know, Sandy wanted to, Sandy Og wanted some people on that board that would help with what he was doing. And that is to help young kids get involved with baseball, stay involved. And it's in particular those kids that couldn't be involved. And when you coach at the division one level, um, you, you have a lot of work to do and you're really concerned with division one guys. And when you go out and watch kids play, um, you watch division one guys and you don't go to a lot of uh, places where kids just play for the fun of it or kids or kids can't afford it. And so I was happy to be on the foundation. You know, the foundation piece was awesome to me and just being on the advisory board. Um, and I don't know who took that and, and morphed it into what it was going to be with the Diamond Allegiance. But um, when you guys shared that, hey, we want to continue to do what we're doing on the, on the um, foundation piece, but we think we can help a lot of kids across the country. And in order to do that, we're going to have to create a model that allows us to interact with, with young kids. I just thought, man, what a great way for me to give back. Um, you get into your world of coaching and um, you don't get to spend a lot of time with that. And, and I, I honestly could go to um, West Delaware, Iowa and, and recruit, you know, a kid on the farm town and watch him play and have just as good a time uh, as I could going down to um, Long Beach and watching the area coach. And so I just think for me, that's a, a great way for me to give back. I want to see kids that are sitting there trying to make a choice. And that is, do I give up baseball? Do I start watching a lot more TV and playing a lot more video games or doing a lot more things um, that may not be as productive as to where a great game of baseball can get me, whether it's building relationships. And so I'm inspired as much about the guy that's that fringe D1 guy and helping him maybe say one word to him. Um, I had a guy that's with us right now that just called me one of our, one of our teams that's with us. Their, their owner called me the other day and asked me some advice on a kid that was looking for some help with the mental part of the game. And I just thought that's super cool. And, uh, but, but, I, but I just think that the one thing that um, I, I really long for and that is to see this allegiance make a difference in the decisions kids choose to make um, opposed to, to maybe something they didn't have that opportunity. So in other words, if we can help two kids that could have never afforded through this allegiance say, hey, I got a scholarship to go play for you know, yep. the Jackrabbits and I'm going to play baseball this summer. And he plays baseball and discovers that, hey, I might be able to go to junior college or, hey, I met a guy that his dad owns a, a business that I really want to work in, whatever it may be. Um, I just think we spend too much time inside those four walls thinking about what am I going to do when I'm, you know, 78 and hell, who knows where they're going to be here when I'm 78. And so, um, you know, if we don't inspire our youth, we're going to, we're going to uh, pay for the consequences. And yep. uh, therefore I'm involved whether from, from that standpoint, I love the game of baseball, baseball, um, this is such a big part of my life. Um, I don't want to give that up. Uh, um, so maybe there's a, there's a part of it for the, that feeds me. Um, but I long to see kids, um, understand, um, what this great game can give. And, and also to, 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 we got so many plans in the works to help offset some of the costs for the families. You know, right now I want to see families go see their kid play. I, I just, think it's hard when some family has to sit there and say, Hey, you know, we can go to two. We can't go to that third one. We can't afford it. Maybe we can do some things that help there. Um, but you just think about organizations. I don't care if you got 500 kids within your organization, 300 or a thousand. If you affect five kids out of 500 and those five kids get married and have a family, you think about how many kids are going to be affected over the lifetime of that decision and even if you only get five out of, you know, that's, that's a, that's just being conservative. I think that's a big part of what we're, we're doing. And of course yep. the tech piece of what we can present that helps facilitate the things these coaches are doing. And um, 
the, the things that kids need to have at their, um, at their accessibility to, to advance in the game. And I think advancing, like I said, I, 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 I would be just as excited about the guy that never thought he'd make the high school team that made it, guy that never thought he'd go to college that goes to an NAI or three-year. Yep. I never thought he was going to be a, a D1 that becomes a D1, the guy that never thought he was going to be a big leaguer that becomes a big leaguer. I think that, that that's, that's for me, is, is what's pretty cool. And, and then trying to inspire coaches to understand what um, our roles are as coaches and how important – um, it is that we uh, advance um, and, and create and, and nurture future leaders of, of, of our country.